You're watching Fox 40, news that matters from across the valley and beyond. This is Fox 40 News at 6. Give your child a well-rounded education outside of the classroom. After the break, stimulating activities to inspire imagination and creativity to expand your kids' learning. All right, we're talking about a very important topic here. It's extracurricular activities for children are meant to be fun, but it can be really daunting on the family, and the children can be overscheduled, especially, I feel, these days. So we're going to talk this morning on how to handle those extracurricular activities, also which ones are best for your child. Joining us this morning, Kat McPhee, a lower school administrator with Sacramento Waldorf School. Welcome. And Dean Smith, a high school administrator from Sacramento Waldorf School. Thank you so much to both of you for being with us. Let's start with the extracurricular activities. And, and how much time children should actually be spent on them? How many days are we talking about here? So we would look at, we would start with looking at child development and making certain that um, we're, we consider how child development affects the whole child and then the decisions for after school come from that origin. So the child under grade six would have um, outdoor activities, more unstructured play, play more with identified balls. by their will. What more they more exactly, do, right? Because they're exactly. so young. Exactly. Okay. And then the second is uh, the second stage of development, which you mentioned, is ages seven through fourteen. And what should be leading these extracurricular activities? Well, we still we look at the children below grade six to have more unstructured play, so they're open-ended activities, so that they are exploring. But as they go from sixth grade on, we're looking at more structured mm -hmm. extracurricular. Yeah, in the high school, so from middle school and high school, they get into sports more. Um, there's speech, like in the high school, there's speech and debate, there's play, so drama. Um, they do uh, clubs, things like that. This would be the third stage of yes, development. Right. So yes, right. This is ages 15, 15 and up. Yeah. And these activities should be led to stimulate thinking. Yes. Yes, typically, yes. And, well, in, in, in Waldorf education, we're, also, we're always concerned with the social-emotional aspect of it. So it's kind of woven into the academic and the extracurricular activities. Um, so, yeah, so things do things that they're passionate about, that they like to do. You know, students like to learn from teachers that are passionate about what they're teaching, so yeah. we want them to pursue the same thing when they're looking at their extracurricular activities. And extracurricular yeah. activities yeah. don't necessarily mean have to be completely active, right? Right. No. There can be some downtime as well, which is good for parents, right. especially after they come home from work, kids are home, and you want them to do some sort of activity, but as well be relaxing. What would some examples of those be? Sure. Outdoor play, if you want your child to be playing inside, it's nice to let them build forts of their own accord. If you'd like to enter the domestic arts with your child, do cooking. Um, if you want to engage in, with their play, you can have cooking or baking or, or building outside. So I have three kids myself, mm -hmm. and I feel like there are a, a wide open end of extracurricular mm -hmm. activities. There's certainly no shortage. No. So how would you limit those? Because I feel like these days parents are more trying to limit yeah. rather than expand. We definitely suggest that if you have an extracurricular activity one night that there is a space on the next night so that there is a breathing Good to the idea. week. Yeah. I like that. Take time to take a breath. All right, Absolutely. joining us this morning, Kat McPhee and Dean Smith with Sacramento Waldorf School. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with Thanks us, for having us this us. morning. Helping us to get our kids engaged in extracurricular activities, but keep a balance within yeah. the family. Absolutely. All right, back over to you. Yeah, you know what? And I think the best thing about extracurricular activities, too, it helps build a lot of confidence. Totally. And so, because you're, you're putting yourself out there, right? right? And you're meeting new groups of people. And so, I just, Definitely. I love them. Yeah. And doing new things. Like, mm -hmm. I, when they said the cooking, I was like, yeah. oh, not just sports. It's cooking. It's reading. Yeah. It's all. So, well-rounded. Yeah, you're not boxed into anything.